What are you listening to? Like some house music? Some like Trey songs, you know? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You got some Nelly trapped in the closet? Some weekend, you know? Uh, Yeah, I think Claremont's really, you know, blowing up because there's uh, three or four facilities that are around here that people ride at. And um, I live on the main lake where everyone cycles. So, yeah, the other morning, me and Shane were cooling off in the pool. We just, it was super hot and humid and jumped in and we're just chilling. And then Marv went by and then Jeremy Martin went by. And it's just pretty funny, you know. Um, there's quite a few guys in this area, so we bump into each other a lot. To be honest, I feel like I got pretty lucky with the whole deal to ride at um, the Baker factory on the K KTM and Husqvarna side because just very fortunate to be on the team I'm on and I'm in such a good place right now and it's like I'm just very happy and um, I think that happiness comes from overcoming uh, my injuries and being a privateer and you know a lot of things in life. So it's a good feeling to kind of be back on the road again. Yeah, I mean, so when I was a privateer at the beginning of the season, um, man, it was like, it was just an experience that's really hard to explain. It's just, I really honestly, on the off season, I just never stopped working. You know, it was like I had a couple of really good friends and my dad, and that was it. I didn't want to bring too many people. I just wanted to kind of keep it small. And it was just, uh, it was tough. But I wasn't thinking about quitting at that time because I really wanted to get back on track and be back on a team and just, get back going again because I feel like I, I know that my skills and stuff is still there. It's just I got to like give myself some time to display it and, and get in some decent results. So I kind of had a plan that I was going to do the first four Supercrosses and after that I had no idea what was going to happen. Um, I honestly was thinking about doing Canadian Nationals, you know, just for a year to get going again, stay healthy, still make some, some money. Um, and you know, try again next year type of thing. But yeah, it was it was just a wild experience, and it's 
gave me such a whole different outlook now, you know, like, it's just the stress level that gets taken off you when you're a factory writer compared to a privateer, you know, like, it gave me a, a lot of respect for the privateers because I know some guys would probably laugh at this, but like, I would wake up, do my morning training that Tyler would send me, then I would go to the track, do whatever I had to do, and then after that, uh, I'd come back, wash the bike, you know, uh, prep the bike, get it ready, uh, and then whatever I had to do, and then honestly, I was like, I would eat dinner, and I'd go to bed, like, that was it for pretty much the whole off season because it was so much work. So now that I'm on a factory team, it's like I appreciate not having to do those. Like, now I, I wake up, I do my training, I do my motos, uh, go to the gym, and then I rest, you know? Like, I was not resting during the off season. It was just like, every day I just was getting stuff done and doing the best I could with what I had. I'm not trying to big myself up or anything, but like I don't, I don't think a lot of people would still be racing if they went through some of the stuff I did. You know, like I've had like three shoulder reconstructions, two knee reconstructions, and uh, you know when I got my surgery on my knee last year, it was in Belgium. I flew I flew back here after a couple of weeks. I ended up getting staph infection. I had to fly back to Belgium, get surgery, get it cleaned out going at IV drip with antibiotics for six days, just sitting in a hospital. Uh, it was just like miserable, you know? The thing that's pretty cool about writing is that like, you could have a lot of bad stuff going on in your life or like something that's just stressing you out or whatever it is. And you could go writing and you won't even know it, but when you're writing, you're not thinking about what, you know, you just have like a clear mind. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing, it's just, your head's clear and it's like, I don't know, it's just what I love to do, it's what I've grown up to do. And uh, yeah, when I'm done racing, I'll for sure be riding still and hopefully have some kids and hitting Loretta's and doing all that. Um, yeah, because, you know, kids are all, people are always like, you know, oh, you should buy your kids some golf clubs and this and that and make more money. But, you know, like, I don't know, I, I feel like the way I was brought up and like, it's been a pretty sweet journey, you know? Sure, it's been stressful, but um, I think m motocross is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. If you told me back in 2011 when I won my championship that this is the path that I would be going down, uh, I wouldn't believe it. You know, I, I would expect you to be where, you know, Tomac and, and, you know, where Jason and all these guys are um, because those were guys that I was beating at that time. You know, I mean, I wouldn't change a thing because it's really, I've learned a lot. I've learned who my friends are. Uh, you know, I've, I've learned how to appreciate things more and how lucky I am to be doing this as a job. Like, this is awesome. I get to, you know, race a dirt bike for a living. You know, it's like now that I'm old, a little bit older, I'm 25 now, I sit at home, I go to call my friends to hang out and they're all working normal jobs. They're having kids, they're uh, getting engaged, this and that. And it's like, dude, I'm still riding a dirt bike for a living. I think that is so awesome. It's pretty cool to uh, do something you love. Um, so it's, you can't take it for granted, you know? You just need to uh, enjoy every bit of it.
<laughs> you enjoy that. Too. Good? Are you happy with that, Tom? Are you happy with that? Yeah. I'm happy with it. That's a wrap. Oh, this isn't turned on. Oh, uh, yeah. It's not. I hear it. <laughs> All right, cheers. Yo, oh, Mile! There's not much positive going on other than... Other than we didn't get pulled over. Other than we didn't get pulled over, you know? Like, gray hairs are coming in hot. Receding hairline's coming in. I'm white, I don't tan. I'm getting wrinkly. It's getting old. 25 years old yeah, now. It's life though, isn't it? It's life. It's gotta be happy. It's gotta be happy.